What's up guys, thanks for stopping by, I hope you're doing good. If like me you've been playing a lot of Valheim, you've probably also by this point spent a lot of time swimming. Swimming can be super useful, but sometimes you can't quite swim far enough. And that's why in this video, I'm going to show how you can swim forever. I hope you enjoy this video, let's jump into it. Okay, so there are two ways that you can swim forever in Valheim, and I'm gonna save the best to last, so you're gonna wanna make sure you watch to the end of this video. But the first one is simpler to explain. For this, all you need is a lot of stamina potions. How many potions you need is really gonna depend on how far you wanna travel, but it is very simple. When you're swimming, stamina is drained as long as you're actually moving so if you swim for as long as you can and then just before your stamina runs out use a stamina potion now you can actually swim until your stamina bar is about to run out again but just stop moving stop swimming before your stamina runs out the key thing to this method is that you do not want to run out of stamina because that will cause your health to start draining so just wait until you just have a tiny bit of stamina left and then all you have to do is wait for your stamina potion cooldown to be over. Really simple. There is actually no limit to how far you can swim doing this as long as you have the patience to wait for your cooldown to be over. So this one is particularly useful for players with a lot of resources to make the potions to cross slightly smaller bodies of water. But of course, you can take this information and do with it what you will. It's definitely possible to cross an entire ocean with this if you have the resources and the patience. The second method of swimming forever is something I like to call corpse swimming. To explain corpse swimming, I first need to explain corpse running. Corpse run is a buff that you get when collecting your items from a tombstone. As most of you may know by this point, if you die with items in your inventory, a tombstone is created in the spot that you died that contains all of your items. In order to activate corpse run, you must empty out the entire tombstone, whether by transferring items to your inventory or by just dropping them on the floor. Once your tombstone gets destroyed, corpse run becomes active. On the wiki, it is stated that corpse run is a status effect applied to the character upon collecting all of the items from their grave. The effect lasts for 50 seconds and applies the following effects. Jump stamina usage minus 75%, run stamina usage minus 75%, and then three damage modifiers that makes you very resistant to blunt, slash, and pierce. However, corpse run is much more useful than it may sound. First of all, usually when drowning, you take two damage per second for as long as you're in water without stamina. However, an unlisted effect of corpse run is that it gives you a plus 10 health regen whilst you are damaged. So, because 10 10 is obviously a bigger number than 2. This means that Corpse Run makes you temporarily invincible while drowning. And this is how we can swim forever. So all you need to do to make this strat work is put an item in your inventory, go swimming out into a piece of water, and then just allow yourself to drown or just do slash kill me in the chat box. And then you'll place tombstone in the water. But this is where things get really interesting. Imagine crossing this giant body of water with no boat and very few items. Well, using corpse swimming, this is possible. This took a very long time to do, and it's why this video has been one of the harder videos to make that I've made so far. But by creating a relay system of tombstones, as long as you're willing to put the time and effort in, you can literally cross any ocean in Valheim. I'll now try and explain the basic idea. The first thing I would recommend is making sure that you set up a spawn point next to the body of water that you want to cross by placing a bed down. Then I would place a chest and just fill it with as many items as you can. Wood makes a lot of sense because it's really easy to get, but just fill it with as many items as you can. Then put one piece of wood in your inventory, swim as far as you can, die, and then when you respawn, if you get another piece of wood, just swim right up to your existing tombstone and die again. Then respawn and swim to the tombstones collect one tombstone and use corpse run to swim as far as you can again and then die by repeating this process over and over and over and over you're able to create a huge corpse run chain that spans as far as you want the only limitation is your own patience and now for the moment of truth
So there you go, guys. When I first realized this was possible, I thought it was absolutely epic. So I hope you enjoyed this. Obviously, it can be very tedious to pull off over long distances like this, but it is safe to say that both the strategies discussed in this video have many uses for casual play if you have to cross small bodies of water and you don't have the mats for a boat. Also, maybe there's a body of water that you want to cross and you just don't want to build a boat to cross it for some reason. You could use these strats in that scenario as well. Anyway, guys, that's just about going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching to the end of the video. I'm actually streaming almost every single day live on this YouTube channel and also live on Twitch. So I'll leave a link to the Twitch channel in the description. I'm not currently a YouTube partner or a Twitch partner, so I can't monetize my content. So if you would like to support the content financially, then you can do so over on patreon.com slash nickrawcliffe. This also gets you an invite to my private Valheim server. There's also a donation link in the description as well if you don't want to create a patreon account make sure you leave a like and subscribe for future content i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time have a good one